around here. A man probably had millions in his sock drawer. If, <laughs> if Falcone finds out I helped you, he'll kill me. Your boss won't be doing much of anything. Ever again. You lot, come check out this office. Where is I don't know! Please! Oh, no. hey. You can help me. <laughs> Let him go. Batman! It's about time! You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. The only thing you'll get from me is a trip downtown. Is this about Falcone? We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pump on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it, Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know from personal experience. I don't kill my enemies. Maybe that's why you got so many. Might be time to reconsider. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, Ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair! Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay to watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name. <laughs> <laughs> Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. for drinking, dancing, and fighting. Not necessarily in that order.
You lost? Because I don't have time for tourists. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Flash money like that in here, you better be ready to fight. I got customers who knife a man for less. Selena, Kyle. Where is she? Hey. Don't I know you? It is you. Knew it. The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low-lying type. Uh, buy you a drink? How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone, Frank. Man's just trying to have a quiet drink. You didn't seem to mind the company. Whatever. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you. His name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> penguin can't take on both of us, and I'm not going anywhere. Clearly you know something about him. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. You don't know what you're getting into. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. The question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. Why leave that? He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald... Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. I need you, Selena. That right? If Penguin is as deadly as you say, I need all the help I can get. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. Keep Harvey out of this. The less he knows, the safer he'll be. I'm sure his safety is your paramount concern. You and I... Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, Penguin says hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. I said, leave! Yeah. <laughs>
them yet. Want more? Then let's give it to him. Pretty good, for such a pretty boy. Come on, this way! Let's get out of here. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. I'm processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here, all from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. This is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handled Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Bruce is the smart choice.
Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to the channel, and get ready for part four. Peace.